hey guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here today's video is going to be how i blow dry my hair now my hair is air dry right now it's still damp in some places like at the top of my head but i wanted to show you guys how i like style and dry my hair and all the products i use like to wash it and like after i get out of the shower on my hair and stuff like that um, I had asked about if you guys wanted to see this video on my last upload that I uploaded a few days ago, um, my holiday gift guide for her, and a lot of y'all said that y'all wanted to see that, so I'm doing that today. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Isabella, welcome. I really hope you stick around. Don't forget to click that subscribe button down below and turn on your post notifications. That way you are notified whenever I upload a new video and you don't miss out. Um, I typically upload every Saturday right now. I'm attempting to, to do Vlogmas. I am behind and I'm aware of that, but I feel like I'm still going to participate regardless if I'm behind or not. So yeah, um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys. Oh, sorry. Okay guys, so I plugged in my I normally dry my hair in my bathroom I just wanted to let y'all know that because um this tripod I'm using like a smaller tripod than the bigger one that I have and I feel like that um, my bathroom isn't as big like it's not that big so I can't use my bigger tripod and this one is too short so I don't have one in the middle so I'm just gonna be drying my hair in my room which is okay because I have my TV here but yeah so I will insert a picture of the shampoo and conditioner I use. It is the Red King, the Red King All Soft Shampoo and Conditioner. I don't have damaged hair or like treated hair anymore. Like I don't have treated hair anymore, but I just like how it makes my hair feel. My hair feels super soft. Then after I get out of the shower, I let my hair towel dry in a turban like thing for a little bit, and then what I do is I apply. It's a ten. I use this all the time. It does 10 things on the back if you are new to this and you don't know what it does it's right there this you can get at the drugstore or at like Ulta um, it's like it's like $18 for this size but this lasts me a while and I wash my hair every other day so that the fact that this lasts me a while is good then after like sometimes after I let my hair air dry like today I this has heat protected in it but just in case sometimes I forget um, I have this um, protecting plus silk blowout spray and I saw uh, Molly Bailey use this on her hair and, and I thought it looked really nice after so um, I bought it and the next product I'm going to talk about I also bought from her I also I used to use the Redken um, all soft shampoo and conditioner a while ago and then I stopped using it and I tried function of beauty which is nice, but it's really expensive and I get like it's a subscription thing and that's why it might be a little expensive, but personally, like I'm a nanny and uh, I'm still in college, so I don't have like the money to be spending on like stuff like that. So I just bought the Redken All Soft again and I like that a lot. But yeah, after I use this and then I let my hair dry a little more, I haven't put this in my hair right now, so I'm going to do it like today I'm in. So I left my brush in my bathroom. I'll be right back. So I let my hair air dry, like I said, and I'm just going to brush it out really quick. Um, just to get out all the knots and what. Oh my God, my battery is going to die. It, I can tell it's definitely like it looks a lot like more tamed when I brush it battery's dying okay, right so now after sorry I had to change the battery on my on my camera sorry if you hear animal crossing I'll put it on mute but okay so I was brushing my hair and I was saying I'm gonna apply this in my hair because I haven't applied it yet taking this and spraying it generously throughout my hair this stuff smells like candy so then I will brush through the product again and yeah so I hope I don't disrupt my parents 
when I am doing this. But next I'm gonna, I don't always do this, but I try to do it because it ends up looking really messy if I don't, like when I'm parting, when I'm not parting my hair properly. So I'm just gonna do a line down the middle. So then what I do is I grab a section like this. I don't normally do it like this, but this is just how I'm going to do it right now because it's already parted. So now what I'm going to do, you see that little like bump, I'm going to fix it. Okay. So this is a, I normally make bigger sections for my hair like to hold up, but today I didn't feel like doing that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually add more. There we go. Oh my god, sorry. I just saw that it snowed on my island. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I'm so happy. I need to tell Sable. But anyway, so I know, like I said, it was parted, whatever. It's not parted anymore. I just fixed it, but like... Sorry, my hair's like really really thick it's not as thick as it used to be but it's still pretty thick so then i'm gonna like twist it and get a few clips i have these clips from i think i got them at ulta yeah so i just got those and you're gonna see there's gonna be hair in my face so i do apologize but yeah so it looks like i have bangs so that's what i'm gonna do it holds it up and then what i do is I section the bottoms, like the back part. I'm gonna go ahead and like log in. Okay. And so, and now, if you haven't seen, sorry, it's really tangly. I'm gonna have to move it because I don't have an extension cord in my room. You'd be surprised. Okay, so here's what that, th what this looks like. I'm so sorry, I'm gonna hold it back. It has a lot of hair. I've had it for a year, looking pretty nasty. There's a way to clean it. I just haven't done it yet. So, but yeah, so it look ridiculous for you guys, but essentially I'm going to just use this if you haven't seen it before. There's like a close up, like a close up of like the controls and everything. I don't normally use the cool shock, although I heard, I was watching a video on this yesterday and I really, have, well, I've used it a few times. I'm just, I don't use it every day. So normally, right now that my hair is really basically barely damp. I'm gonna use the light setting. So I'm gonna go ahead and record with sound on, but like I'm gonna mute it. Okay guys, so it it's still a little damp toward the roots of my head, but other than that, it's basically dry now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the cool shock and do like a little curl. I might do it later toward the end also. It just depends if it curls. If it stays, well, let me do that right now. Okay, so obviously they look really good like this. These are how the curls look like, um, and this is just the bottom section. But they're cooled off and normally it helps with the volume and it helps it like bounce like that. I just kind of mess it up. But there we go. Yeah, and then this one has one too. So I like that a lot. But I like also doing it straight. I just wanted to show you how it looks curly. I'm probably going to go over this and finish it later. But yeah, so I'm just going to finish this. I will talk to you guys when I'm done. Hey guys, I am back. Now for the final step. Um, first of all, I'm gonna try to part it for in the front for you guys. So this is how straight and like, I mean my hair is technically, it's like a little bit wavy naturally, but like, as you can tell, there were like a few, I don't know if you saw it, but I could definitely see it like right here. It's not completely straight, it's like wavy still. 
which I can fix later. But then normally after I do that, I apply this Tresemme Keratin Smooth Oil on my hair. And now I think, I don't know. So sometimes I put this, I put this in after I dried my hair and then before I even dry it, like when it's damp. And it just, it smells really good and it's like a shine. It has five benefits. It says anti-freeze, detangles, shine, softens, and tames flyaways. Yeah, flyaways, which I have right here. And then I just, ooh, that went through my fingers. And then I can just do that a little bit and it'll help tame it just a little bit. And then I put... Mainly I put all of it on the ends of my hair because my hair can get really um, dry at the bottom. How my hair looks like now that I'm done, I already brushed through it and everything after I went with the Revlon, I went and then you just used my wet brush. It's basically it for this video. If you enjoyed seeing my hair care routine, uh, I can make more videos like this. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up for me and don't forget to subscribe down below. Um, I post videos every Saturday and I'm still attempting on doing vlogmas like I said, even though I'm behind. But yeah, I would really appreciate it if you subscribed. It would mean the world to me and also give this video a thumbs up and just interact in the comments too. Anything really helps. Um, my channel grow. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and TikTok. Again, they will be linked in the description box down below. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!